There are several things that I've done in the course of my life and looked back and thought to myself, why in the world did I do that? That didn't make any sense at all. I mean, at the time it did. It it seemed like the right thing to do at the time. But honestly, I really can't tell you now, looking back on some of the things that I've done, what I was even thinking when I did it. You ever made decisions like that? Decisions that you look back on and go, that wasn't very smart. I, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did it. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. I want you to know something, though, that that I don't always express here because I know that these messages, this Leading Leaders Podcast, this Tell It Like It Is TV, uh, my audience is quite diverse. In fact, if you look at the Tell It Like It Is fan page, and I have, if you go through the demographics of who follows that page, less than, you ready for this? Less than 10% of the fans of Tell It Like It Is TV on Facebook fan page are in the United States. The rest of them are scattered all over the world. And many of them are 18 to 24 year old young men and women in Nigeria and Ghana and the Congo. And I know that I have some influence in their life. People like Nelson Adigwe, a young man who's working on his master's degree, in fact, his MBA, if I'm not mistaken, right now, who does leadership conferences all over Nigeria on a regular basis. But we connected right here on Facebook, right through this Facebook Live conversation. And so when I talk on leadership, generally speaking, I talk on leadership from a um, not com completely secular worldview, but I don't bring a whole lot of religion into it or faith into it, even though that's what I'm driven by. But today I've got to divert just a little bit and let you know that sometimes I do things because I heard a voice. And I'm firmly convinced that that voice is the voice of an almighty God who speaks to us because he loves us. He speaks to us when we're ready to listen. He speaks to us through his written word, through his Holy Spirit speaking directly into our mind, into our consciousness, into our subconsciousness. Paul says it like this, no one knows the mind of God like the spirit of God, and no one knows the mind of man like the spirit of man. We have in us the mind of Christ that we would understand all mysteries. But see, we also have an enemy who doesn't like messages like this to go out. And sometimes they just throw your phone to the floor so that it stares at the ceiling for a moment. Fascinating how that works. But here's the other thing that I know that dovetails right into that reality. Many of us spend our life trying to find the right career, the right education, the right spouse, the right place to live, the right home, the right car to drive. We, we struggle with the challenges of life just trying to figure it out. And in that process, we ask the question, how do I know better? How do I understand? We look back sometimes on decisions we made and went, well, where did I come up with that idea? What was I thinking when I did that? Instead of listening to an almighty God whose desire it is to be intricately involved in our lives, his word, his word, says he knows every hair on your head. For some of us, that's easier to keep up with than others. Every hair on your head. Also, it says that not single one single bird falls from the sky, that he doesn't know about it. But no bird and no flower ever says, oh my gosh, what will I eat this week? I have no money. Where's my welfare? Why? Because God takes care of them. Now, if God is that intricately involved in your life, if he understands the details of your life, and he has this grand master plan that takes care of the birds and the flowers, don't you think he's capable of taking care of you? And don't you think if he has that plan and you have the mind of Christ and the ability to hear him speak that he would reveal that plan to you? And don't you think that there would be a chance that sometime he would speak into your life and say, I want you to do this. I want you to go this direction. These are the things that I have made you for, anointed you for, purposed you for. You have a purpose in the plan of God. 
And because you have a purpose in the plan of God, God has already worked out all the details, all the adjacent relationships, all the financial aspects. He knows what success looks like and he knows what every step in the journey looks like. The challenge now is yours to get into his word, to understand his plan, to recognize his voice, to follow his leading, so that as a leader, you might be led first by him, so that your plans would first be his plans, so that your strategies and your tactics and your financial goals would first be his. At that point, they become fail-proof. Honestly, like Noah building an ark when it had never rained before, sometimes those plans will sound and look and feel ridiculous. But if you obey them, the rest is on him. I was chatting with my wife the other day. <coughs> And I asked her a question, and she looked at me funny, and I said, but you said, and I reminded her of her words, and she just kind of grinned as if to say, you're right, I said that, I know. And it dawned on me in that moment that if we know God well enough, that we can look him in the eye, so to speak, in our time of prayer or meditation and say, but God, you said, that in that moment, we have every legal right to hold God accountable for the promises he's already made. And if you know him well enough, and you know his word well enough, then you'll know you can look to the Father and say, but Father, you said, and he will stand up behind that promise until the end of all time. And for what it's worth, he's uh, eternal, everlasting, never-ending. <laughs> the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, once the same, always the same. Yeah, that's him. He doesn't even call himself I was or I will be. He calls himself I am. Hold him accountable for what he says. Before you lead others, be led. Live out the purpose he made you for, and it will be fail-proof. I'm Jay Lauren Norris for Leading Leaders Podcast on Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day.